Trigger warning. This is some funny stuff, man. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, why is this guy holding on to a D-handle if it's not attached to any weight? That's a good question. Why are you holding a handle with no functional reason for holding the handle? This could actually be the method due to something called... That should be... Okay, I'm interested. Sherrington's law of irradiation. Oh, the law of irradiation. <laughs> okay, there we go. What is the, what is this? What, wait, what was that law of irradiation? Basically, by Sherrington's law of irradiation. Due to something called Sherrington's law of irradiation. Sherrington's law of irradiation. Sherrington's law of irradiation. Let me see if I can even spell that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what Sherrington's law of irradiation is. It's thinking. Okay. In the meantime, I never thought in my life that I'd be watching someone lift weights, holding a handle. Okay, here it is. It is as the intensity of a stimulus or effort increases, neural activity spreads to additional muscles and spinal segments. In plain English, when you try really hard with one muscle group, nearby or functionally linked muscles start to kick in. Um, okay, here, gripping hard and forearm co-contraction. Squeezing a fist maximally increases activation up the chain. I, I, again, I'm not, I'm not a scientist. I don't even play one on TV. But couldn't you just attach the handle to the weight stack? I, I don't know. Maybe. Basically, by gripping something tightly like a D-handle or just holding a fist, your brain is going to send a stronger signal through your nervous system. So, okay, I'm, I'm with you. Boosting force output and increasing motor unit recruitment. Help us help follow for more. Yeah, but why... Why not just put the handle on the cable? 